hurt you for God's will for me. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Here's Frank Julian. We're in number 10 of our 10 week series on the the book of Philippians uh, of Paul, you know, looking at Paul and who he wanted to be and us imitating him as he imitates Christ and asking ourselves, what person do we want to be? You know, how do we imitate Paul? And then how do we encourage others to imitate us? So I encourage you, go back, listen over these other uh, nine programs and this 10th program and re-listen. And I'm telling you, it'll be life-changing for you. It's been a thrill to uh, minister this series. And I want to end uh, uh, with a uh, Philippians chapter 4 and number 13, a very famous scripture, but one that Paul claims, and I claim too, he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that should be your conclusion after listening to these 10 podcasts. Faith, let let faith come and arise within you. And it says, and you become what I call a can-do person. You know, I believe you can. And if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. But if you will say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, you know, then you understand that you're not leaning on your own power to accomplish the all things, but you're leaning on Christ in you, the hope of glorification, as he works all things together for good in your life, that you might be glorified, justified and glorified. He wants to, to, to lead you in this path and become more like Jesus, to be the Word made flesh, that the Word would be made flesh in you. And this the word Christ, he didn't use the word Jesus there. The word Christ is the anointing, the anointed one. And the anointing breaks yokes in our life or bondages or things things that have held us back. When Christ lives in us and, and we give him free reign to live through us, it, it breaks, it destroys things that have kept us bound and, and curses in our life that, that people have spoken over and said, oh, that is broken away and you are free and you have strength for the day. You can do all things through this anointing that breaks the yoke in your life and, and things that are that are missing, puzzle pieces in your life or things that are broken are healed. He, he heals through, through this anointing the, the anointing is a healing anointing, a balm that, that will cover you. And when, you know, all of a sudden something rises up in you. And I, I really, I tell this, you know, with a smile on my face, but, you know, Samson was not really that muscular the way they like to present him to be, okay? You know, he, he, his strength was in the length of his hair, <laughs> which really was the anointing. See, and if they cut the hair... They could beat him up and tie him down and do nothing. You do whatever they wanted to him. That, his strength was not physical. Get this. His strength was because of the anointing and the obedience. If you will obey, the anointing is there, and he could defeat every enemy. You know, the strength was not in David. It was in the anointing when he spoke it. Who are you to come against the living God? He told that giant. No, I come against you in the name of the Lord. They did some trash talking. And Goliath said, I'm going to feed you to the birds. And he said, I'm going to cut your head off. He came right back at him and he ran with that stone and the slingshot and bam, through his head. He knocked down, took his sword and chopped off his head. That's what you got to see yourself doing with the enemies of your life and the things that have stolen your joy and your kids and your family. No, 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 no. That's over. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You get up and you grab those stones and you prepare them to throw them at the Goliaths of your life. You, you be like Samson, but obedient. the high calling of God in Christ. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I've been preaching to you for 10 weeks now about the characteristics you need to be confident that he's begun a good work in you. He'll bring it to completion. And he's, he's the one that wants you to be sold out single-minded. If you're double-minded, you don't get anything from the Lord. You're, you're sold out and you've got the mind of Christ, the single-hearted mind of Christ on this situation. And you are willing to get up and, and do God's will and, and pour out your life like a libation and be an example to others and rise up in prayer with joy, and then you are ready. 
you are ready to face every giant in the land for the Lord. I'm telling you, go over this. Build this image inside of you. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. You're a new creation. Old things have passed away. You are, to, you know, one time I heard this minister say that he was praying and he was on his knees and he was crying to God. And God said, what are you doing down there? And he said, I'm praying. He said, I have raised you up and made you sit together with me in heavenly places, uh, Ephesians 2. And so he said, you get up here and sit on my lap. We are seated with him in heavenly places. Because of that anointing, because of the new birth, because of the life of Christ in us, you get up and get in the lap of, of, of Jesus, of God, sit with Jesus, and believe God. And I'm telling you, you will have life-transforming situations, and those circumstances come against you. You become an overcomer, not an undergoer. Overcome. God gives the prize to those who overcome. You just refuse to quit. Because God's inside of you and become God inside mind to become a success going someplace to happen. Because you, you're equipped. You're equipped with amazing things. And as you will believe and take it, I am telling you something. You will do exploits for the, for the Lord. The Bible says he, he who knows their God will be strong and do exploits. God wants you to do this in this hour. The world is crying out for you to be the Christian that you need to be because the world is dying and going to, to a hell that, that, that they don't want to go. You have the ability to say, no, there's a cliff. Don't go off the cliff. Don't go to hell. Come on this straight and narrow way with me that leads to life eternal. And, and, and God will use you to win souls, and you'll be bold as a lion. The righteous are as bold as a lion. When this anointing and this free-flowing life of God courses through you, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Father, in the name of Jesus, give them a vision. Without a vision, the people perish. Show them the strength that they have because of the Holy Spirit living in them. They are temples of God. They are just like that Ark of the Covenant, and any place that covenant went, there was victory. They won. They are the Ark of the Covenant, tabernacling the Holy Spirit of God, and they can win for Jesus many souls and do exploits for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Oh, I am so glad I had this opportunity to share this book of Philippians with you. I encourage you to go back and listen to these podcasts, these 10 of them. And, and I, oh, let me know what, what's going on in your life. FrankJulian5 at gmail.com. God bless you. Goodbye for now. See you next week.